This is Twit. E.T. phone home. Two astronomers are uh, two astronomer groups are planning to send messages from the world's largest radio telescope in China sometime in 2023. This is, by the way, I think Corey, isn't this the plot of the three body problem? I think so. Well, it's certainly, I mean, the plot's very complicated to three-body problem. Chichen Lu's a quite a complex plotter, but that's certainly a plot element of it. At the beginning, anyway, uh, yeah. they're going to beam a signal of radio pulses over a broad, broad swath of sky. They'll be uh, on and off like the ones and zeros of digital information. The message is called the beacon in the galaxy. The first thing they'll do is send prime numbers, presuming that math is universal, and mathematical operators, then the biochemistry of life, human forms, <laughs> and then the controversial part, the Earth's location, <laughs> and a timestamp. <laughs> They're sending the message toward a group of millions of stars near the center of the galaxy, 10 to 20,000 light years from Earth. Now, the only good thing is it'll take them 10 to 20,000 years to get this, and I'm going to hope it's going to take them at least this long to come back. So we don't have to worry too much about this, but still... Theoretically, <laughs> is it a bad idea to say, "Hey guys, come on over. Let's let's uh, let's uh, let's get together. Let's talk." Corey, you must. Do you think about alien life, uh, first contact things like that in any of your books? I can't remember. You're not that kind of sci-fi author, I don't think. I thought Kim Stanley Robinson's book Aurora did a really good job of this. Uh, sorry, I had my mic off there. I I only think about it as a literary device. I think that um. The distances are really big. They're kind of buzzkill big. Yeah. Because they're, they're 20,000 kind of years. Yeah. To go. Well, no, that's 20,000 years at the speed of light. Right. Right. Anything that comes back is not going to come back at the speed of light or any appreciable fraction of it. So we're talking about like significantly longer than like behaviorally modern humans have existed uh, at a point in which like it's, it's just very, very, very far away. Yeah. And so I think that it's like, these are interesting thought experiments, but, um, and it's not like they're so far away that like our light cone doesn't intersect with them so that we can never, in fact, influence each other. They but might be that... watching I Love Lucy right now. Well, no, they're up, we'll have to wait about <laughs> 9,550 years from now. But yeah, you know, I, I, I just don't think we're going to make contact per se. Like, I don't think we're going to have a two way exchange. Yeah. It's the Fermi paradox. Yeah. Any thoughts, Owen? Are you a sci-fi fan? I am, actually. Uh, it's kind of fun. I'm staying with my brother, and he, he kind of has our childhood sci-fi collection. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, like, visiting the wall of Heinlein uh, is, uh, you know, that's really back fun. a lot of memories. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I, I you know, I don't know. I think that doesn't our atmosphere... Uh, Kind of radiate enough information to yeah. interested aliens yeah. that like hey there's a nice juicy oxygen you know oxygenated planet with water and, you know, and, 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 and i love lucy yeah i mean i think i think that we've detected uh planets that might be able to sustain life so if at our level of technology we can do that if there's an alien out there with you know sophisticated technology they've probably spotted us so very famous i think they're worrying about nothing very famously stephen hawking about 10 years ago, said, uh, you know, intelligent aliens could be rapacious marauders roaming the cosmos in search of resources to plunder and planets to conquer and colonize. So maybe we shouldn't be announcing our address. Maybe, and, and see, here's the other problem. Maybe they're not so far away, but they could still intercept the message and, uh, and maybe... Uh, come visit us uh, you know and i'm not going to worry about it right now not yet yeah like i would really worry about climate change that's a little more concerning worried about aliens yeah like think what what an amazing thing it would be if our race could endure long enough for aliens to come and wipe us out in 10,000 <laughs> there you go that we're doing our best to make sure we can't it would mean we gotten an extra 10,000 years above <laughs> the current odds excellent excellent point